Hello, my name is Benjamin Clayton, and I am one of the UGTAs for CSC340. I will be covering question 6 from the Spring 2016 final. In this question, we are asked to find the output of this program when parameters are passed by either value, reference, or name. We will start with pass by value. This is the simplest case because nothing that happens in foo or bar will affect the parameters they pass into them. So y, beta y, and beta will never change in this case. The only significant feature is what is returned by foo and assigned to alpha. This is determined by bar of beta, where x is just set to 10 and we return 14. So alpha is just 14. This means the final output is 0 for y, 0 for beta of 0, 1 for beta 1, and 2 for beta 2, with 14 being alpha. The next case, path by reference, is slightly more complicated because now we pass in the address locations of y and beta of y so that whenever we change beta and t and foo or x and bar, we are now effectively changing the original parameters. So we will call beta the address of y prime and t to be beta zero. We're calling this y prime because there already exists local variable y and we want to avoid confusion. Since we're calling bar on beta and beta is the address of y, x also becomes the address of y. So when we run foo on y and beta y, we are assigning beta y prime to y prime plus 2. Since it was originally 0, the new value of y prime is 2. t is just beta 0, which has a new value of 0, so x is 0. And uh, we're assigning x minus 1 to beta 0, so beta 0 is now negative 1. Then we return bar as before. In this case, we're passing in the reference to y prime. So y is now getting the value of 10, and we're returning 14. This means that the final output is 10 for y, negative 1 for beta 0, 1 for beta 1, 2 for beta 2, and 14 for alpha. The final case is passed by name, which is slightly different from passed by reference because whenever we invoke a parameter, we are now invoking the name that was originally passed. So in this case, this is no longer beta 0. This is now beta of y prime, and this is y prime. Likewise, we call beta here, call bar here on beta. This just becomes y prime. We're changing the original variables here, not just whatever is passed in. So this line is still the same, but now this one changes because we're using beta of y prime instead of beta zero x is now being set to beta of 2, which is 2 here. Then beta of 2 is being assigned 2 minus 1, so beta of y prime gets assigned positive 1. And then we call bar on beta, which in this case is y prime, and uh, we set that to 10. So y prime equals 10, same as last time, and we return 14. 
the final output or pass by name is 10, 0, 1, 1, and 14.